He says, when the acquired states, as has been, meaning conquered states, as has been said, are accustomed to living under their own laws and in liberty, there are for those who want to hold them three modes of proceeding. The first is to ruin them. Let's go through these. The first is to ruin them. Okay, you want to conquer a republic? One way of maintaining your acquisition is to ruin them, meaning uh, a Carthaginian peace. Anyone know what a Carthaginian peace refers to? When Rome uh, 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 conquered Carthage, it just leveled. It just, everything, destroyed everything. If you're a prince uh, with its desire to acquire, uh, how attractive is that going to be? Not very, because you haven't acquired anything at that point. That's right. There's really nothing, right? They're, they're not going to be sending you any tributes uh, or supplying any armies, right? Then he goes to the second mode. He says to go live there personally. How attractive do you think that would be? I'm not sure about how attractive it would be, but uh, I'm not sure how, how effective it would be because, I mean, you're still taking away these people's freedom. I know he's made the case for, for going to live there, but, th I mean, that would sound like it would be something that would be more effective if you've, if you've acquired a, uh, a principate. Okay. It's dubious. Right, that that you would leave the country of your birth, and in order to maintain this republic that you've conquered, you move there instead. It doesn't seem to be as attractive. Uh, it doesn't seem to be a very attractive option. And then the third and last, he says, to let them live under their own laws, levying tribute, and creating their estate of a few who will keep it friendly to you. Which of the three, let's assume that, and let's assume that even the third option is one that the prince says, well, let them, you know, let them live under their own laws. I'm not, I'm not crazy about that, but which, which of the three appears to be the lesser of uh, uh, the least of the evils? I would think the third. Seems that way compared to the first two. Now, if you let them live under their own laws, what does that mean? Really ruling them at that point, are you? That's exactly right. Um, they mean right. They they go on as a republic. You'll get some tribute, and you'll cultivate a few that will rule there uh, to keep it friendly to you. See that though? You see, you see, the three options are really only one option. Again making no case for morality, um, what again emerges out of this discussion as the preferred form of government? Well, it would seem uh, again to be the republic because even if you are uh, conquered, chances are uh, things won't change very much. Ah, exactly. Because, and, and he seems to be suggesting here the prince has no choice because what state is it? Is it... Uh, what state on the East Coast, its motto is live free or die? I think that's New Hampshire. New, New I Hampshire. Think it is New yeah. Hampshire. Yeah. New Hampshire. Uh, yes, right? And the die part is, uh, is the first option. Ruin them. Okay, so when, uh, when a prince is faced with that character of the people uh, whose, whose country he has acquired, his only other option is to continue to allow them to live free.